Hey guys, so tomorrow is World HIV AIDS Day or possibly today by the time this uploads it takes a long time to upload a video on the network here and I just wanted to make a little video about it because um, well it's on my mind and I think as most of you know uh, HIV AIDS is a daily part of my life here in Uchira and this year more so because first and foremost the reason it's part of my life is my son is HIV positive and for those of you who don't know he's not my biological son but he is my son in every other sense of the word so my son who is called Dominic is HIV positive and I live with everything that brings my dogs are starting <laughs> Um, I live with everything that brings to us, you know, that includes the difficulties it's brought to me psychologically and emotionally, um, as well as the difficulties of watching the psychological, physical and emotional problems it brings to Dominic. Sorry guys, I had to stop and deal with my dogs. <laughs> um, so yeah, I live with HIV daily. And as well as, as I was saying, watching the physical battle that I see Dominic going through, um, we all have the same emotional and psychological battle going on. And I have to watch Dominic, Dominic going through that as well. Because it's not an easy thing having a, a deadly virus, living with a deadly virus in your body, especially not as a child. So... Another way that the that, that virus spends a daily part in my life now is we provide the starting stages of palliative care for a lady who is very sick and um, her name is Esther, she's a dear friend of mine, I've known her for over two years now and it's the first family I helped in Tanzania and she is a wonderful, wonderful lady, so so caring and loving and very godly but there's only so much medicine can do against this virus and at the moment she is very much taking a turn for the worse and she's not been out of bed since she arrived here at Feathers Tail so I'll give you an idea how sick she is so as well as as I say watching Dominic daily fight this virus I also have it all around me in the community and the reason I want to speak about World HIV AIDS Day is there are a lot of days and initiatives around the planet for different things and I think people become desensitized to them. And I know because I used to be one of them. But the thing is we do need to resensitize sometimes and that's why days like that are good. That's why it's good to have awareness days to remind humanity that part of the humanity you belong to is still suffering from things like HIV AIDS. And the problem is the Western media makes a big song and dance about things like HIV. And it get lots, gets lots of press coverage and then it stops. And people kind of make this weird assumption that it's not an issue anymore. But, but it is a huge issue still for many people in developing countries and in the West as well, of course. And here in developing countries, the stuff you don't see, when you, or stuff you don't think about when you think of HIV AIDS, are the problems that I deal with daily with uh, predominantly I do help some men but predominantly it's women and children um, who we assist it's just the nature of it it would appear that the men unfortunately tend to run away so well, that's a generalization some haven't but the majority we find are, uh, the majority we help are single mothers so to give you an idea of some of the horrors that this virus can bring and I don't want to be negative and throw all the bad stuff at you about it but I think the world should understand what's happening out there and the type of nightmares that we allow to exist on the planet for the sake of sharing as I always say sharing resources sharing time sharing love so there are women we help here with um, breast milk for example, formula, baby formula. Because there are women who 
are faced with a decision that no mother should have to face and that is allow your baby to suffer malnutrition and potentially die from that malnutrition or to allow your child to breastfeed from you and in turn pass on the virus when they do and these are behind the scenes problems that this virus still causes not to mention the children without parents not to mention the men and women who feel no hope because this happens and I think that's a really important thing actually I should mention we provide care for a young girl who is actually disabled and she is HIV positive and she is HIV positive because tragically uh, a man sexually assaulted her and passed on the virus to her I was very easy to get angry and call that man a monster because when I first found out and heard the story that's exactly what I did but as you spend time on the ground in developing countries where you meet these people whose lives are torn apart by this virus you start to see something and you can't help even with someone who commits a monstrous act like the rape of a disabled girl you can't help but begin to have a little bit of empathy and understanding and it's only because I'm, I've read things that allowed me to do that and understand the world a little bit from great minds so a lot of you will know Einstein an Einstein quote that said the world is not a bad place because of evil people um, it's an evil place because of those who I can't remember exactly the words those who do nothing about it but can basically so those not those doing the evil but those who have a chance to stop it and don't and likewise that goes for those who watch people suffering for instance you might have a child who's lost all his family Dominic was one such child so I have experience of understanding the minds of people who have gone through that and it begins to get to you it grinds you down naturally you've lost your brothers your sisters your mother your father and you're the remaining remaining survivor and you too are ill with a virus and you you can't find any hope and naturally and sadly not not naturally is a strong word but sadly and perhaps naturally those people they lose so much hope they start to become dark in the way of they, their thinking and they begin to feel that the world hates them and that the world doesn't care about them so they start living in a way that has no rules no morality no moral rules and they start looking for and they start getting angry they start embracing the darkness that dwells inside every human being in some which way shape or form and then events happen like that and the thing is if there were human beings around who have the love in them to be able to love someone who has HIV to be able to say I'm sorry I'm sorry for what's happened to you I'm sorry you've lost your family and I'm sorry you've lost everyone you love and I'm sorry you're carrying this virus and you're tired and you're weak and you don't even have a mattress to sleep on when you feel sick and you're just worn out and you don't have enough food I'm sorry for all of that but I'm, I'll help you I'll offer you some love and some support that it's making sure those people are out on the planet at the moment to help to clean up the mess which is left behind by such things like HIV AIDS that those people get out of their chairs be they in the west or be they already in Africa be they in wherever they are in the world that they get up out of their chairs and they come to the places where those people need that love there are lots of loving people in the world and they want to share that love somehow but they don't but you've got to get up and take action you've got to go to the places where your love is needed and that's one such example that you can put a stop to evil developing on the planet to darkness manifesting on the planet by curing it before it goes too far with love and I've seen this I've witnessed it I've been eye to eye in, in the presence for long periods of time with humans who were and in children who are becoming dark because they've been ostracized from society and they've lost everything and they've lost hope and love is the thing that changes them back it's only love that will change them back and love will heal that 
and in turn it will stop them from passing on that darkness like a virus of its own to the next person that they do wrong to. And this is how you stop the spread of that. The other side of the problems that things like HIV and AIDS brings to the planet. But days like H this HIV AIDS day, World HIV AIDS day is a reminder. It should be a reminder to the rest of the planet to say this could have been you. You could have been born into a body that was already infected with the virus. You could have fell in love and slept with somebody and you, one of you was carrying the virus and you never knew. You could have held hands with a childhood friend who'd fallen over and ended up being infected with the virus. It could be any of us at any time. And we just have to remember to be there for each other. Just like we would like someone to be there for us. Even if we don't know the people, you can still go out and offer a hand to a fellow human. Because they think, feel and live the same way as you do. So you know the pains and the problems they go through. are identical to the pains and problems you go to through internally. Maybe not externally, but internally. The pain it causes inside you, the emotion it causes inside you is identical across the human species. We all feel the same things. So let it be a reminder for those of you who have the ability to get out and help that people are still out there and they do need help. And HIV AIDS is a huge problem. It kills thousands more people than Ebola ever has, every year. But the media gives you the press coverage of the thing which is new, but Those people who were left here with HIV AIDS seem to have been forgotten by the larger institutions. There are large charities all over the UK who say they work here with HIV AIDS. I see them advertising, I check their websites. But from north to south I know a lot of small NGOs and we've never seen a large charity in Tanzania. None of us. So I don't believe it's about handing money over to large organisations. I don't believe it's about even handing money over to smaller ones like myself. I believe it's about people just sitting and thinking away from distraction, away from entertainment about what life must be like for a child who grows up and watches everyone they know and love die. And then they are told that they too carry that virus that has killed everybody they know. What must it be like for them? Just think about how they feel because I know because Dominic was one and I know how much it was, he was hurting. And then people need to get up and come to the developing countries. They need to build things. They need to come and share their love. Don't hand over money blindly to organisations. If you want to help, if you're one of those people out there who, who feels like they can help, then try and find it in yourself to come. And you never know, you know, just holding the hand of somebody who has HIV AIDS is likely sometimes due to the miseducation in places like East Africa the first time they've had any loving human contact in years. So, and it's needed. It's needed, not just here, all over the planet. Even at home, back in the West, there were people suffering from this awful virus. But my experience is in developing countries. So, use the day as a reminder to say a prayer for those who do still battle against this virus and use it as a reminder to say am I doing what I can to, to help those parts of humanity uh, who have who have not won the, the lottery that is birth and have been born into play some a family with HIV or have fallen in love and contracted the virus by being intimate with someone that's what happens a lot here. So, so that's my thoughts on on the day itself. Let it be a reminder to humanity that parts of humanity still need us able-bodied persons to get out there and help if we can. So, <sighs> okay. I think I'll do a video about what it's like to live as a carer for a child with HIV and what it's like to care for other HIV and AIDS persons 
but I'll save that for another day. For now I just want to talk about the day and what the day should mean to us. It's not another way for charities to make money. It should be a way to remind humanity that there are parts of humanity who are exactly the same as you. They are no different to you. Who are living a nightmare. And what they need is help, love, support. So it's up to us as individuals to get out and, and share that. That's, that's what I believe the day should be about. To remind us of that.